the spot. This is where I sleep at right here. Right here. How long have you been in this cell? Well, I just got moved over. I've been over like two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. And when you came in, did you have to approve yourself in any way? No, my main man right there. He, 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 right there, that's my main man. My main man, my main man would like give my main man a bottom. So when I came in, he put me right here. You know, that's how I go. What? You said he's your main man? That's my main in man. In what respect? You knew him on the streets? Yeah, from the street, and we done did time together before. And so when you came in, he. He, he kind of made sure you were okay when you came in? Oh, I'm okay anyway. I'm just saying he would like put bro right there. So I went right there. You didn't want to be on a top bunk? I ain't going on no top bunk. Is anyone in here on a top bunk? Yeah, yeah. You, yeah there's a couple of How come you're on a top bunk? I choose to be right here. You're okay with that? Fine with it. Why? No problem. It's considered to be the less, the less desirable option. No, no. It ain't like that. I just choose to be on the top bunk. One thing that came up last time was the idea of the paint as a kind of arena of, of battle in which the different inmates have to prove themselves. You ain't got to prove yourself. You just got to get your little record in and see, see where you at. You see where you at? What do you mean? See where you at. You might come here, but you might be snitching on somebody's case and you might tell something. You want to know who you will, that's all. How are you going to tell by tell fighting? Tell you to get out there and you'll be scared to get out there. That's one sign of something wrong with you. Well, uh, this, you, could be, you could be an honest person and not want to fight. Yeah, but they're going to have to fight or you're going to get on the door. Why? Shit, that's the code. That's their rules. I don't know. You got to ask the person who made it. The code is yeah, the code. I can't tell you the code. You got to know the code. You feel me? If you come in here and you come in the cell, you got to get lined up. If someone obviously wasn't from the streets or if they were, clearly weren't cut out for it... They had trouble. What, what would happen then? Shit, only you know. I don't know. They, ain't, they ain't don't have to get out there, though. You feel me? Are you seriously saying that if I, by some quirk, by some quirk of fate, if I was sent into this cell, you'd see me, and presumably you would know that I was not cut out to fight? And you're seriously saying that you would I ain't gonna lie. You might not even fight. They might just, just slap the shit out of you. I'm just being real. <laughs> nigga might just slap you all. He might, nigga might hang out on you. Might, man, I ain't gonna lie. You might just get party. You might get by all, man. I'm just getting it to you raw. You're saying I wouldn't have to fight? Oh, you going? No, you going to have to fight. I'm saying the whole cell might beat you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. The whole cell might beat you. Why? Shit, that's the code. I don't know. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You going to have to figure out why. Would you be helping? No, I might feel sorry for you since I know you in. You a good man. I might tell him to fall back, but you going to have to get one or two rounds in, you feel me? It going to show off the ripple what kind of person you is eventually. And that week, that day, I never know, that month go by, and something gonna show, something gonna break. You might be a real nigga too, you feel me? Right? You a real nigga? What do you think? I don't know, shit. I just met you. 